Hey there, I wanted to put a, a review together for anybody looking to potentially get the extra 5 M42 mouse. Um, I just got this mouse today. I've been using the Razer Viper Mini for the past maybe six months, and this mouse is, has been fantastic. It was like, I got it for 40 bucks, which is a steal. Um, the shape is great, it's safe. Uh, everything on it is it's good. It's, uh, it's not trying to do anything crazy. It's just like a good shape mouse, um, but it does kind of lack in certain places where the extra 5 M42, you can almost immediately tell right away where um, they've improved essentially on this like shape. It's like the shape is so similar. It's just the smaller form factor, but um, there's lots of ways that you can feel it. So the first thing you, you'll notice when touching the M42 is the the front end here extends further and doesn't taper down as much. So in comparison on the Razor Vapor Mini, your fingers, let me see if I can get it done on the camera. Your fingers feel like they have to go down to, to touch rather than the, the ability to stay extended out. Uh, so on this one, on the M42, um, it just feels like you have more, more of a, space here and it also feels um that it that it flattens out a bit more as it goes towards the front rather than continuing continuing down the viper mini continues down constantly where this one goes out so what that what that does is your fingers just feel like they have more room to click if depending on where your grip grip is uh your fingers can be here they can be up here but it never feels like you're you have to over you have to click too far down where the Viper Mini, I think sometimes can feel like that. But the major difference that I've, I noticed right away is how it fills up your, your palm. The Viper Mini, um, it's being a very safe shape. The hump right here and the side parts of where you would actually feel it in your palm. Um, there's a bit of a gap there for me, even though I have I guess smaller hands, but um, it just doesn't it doesn't fill up my palm completely. And what that what that translates into is micro movements or like a loose grip. Sometimes uh, you you don't feel like you have the control that you need. Where the M forty two, as soon as you put your put your hand on it, you can feel it like basically right here and here, these parts. Uh, right away, you can feel that it's it's snug. It feels so much better. And the top of the mouse also comes up to touch this part. So as opposed to the, the Viper Mini, there's like, a, there, my hand will be floating in there. And if I wanted to do like even tighter, tighter grip, it, it doesn't feel very comfortable for like flick shots. Um, so there, there is an issue there. Like you, you can't, you can't flick and also have control super, super consistently with um, the Viper Mini. I find, even though it is, it's still great. It's better than a lot of a lot of mice. Um, the M forty two, like right away, you can feel that like this part is right, right where it touches here is snug. So any flick shots or changing grip anything like that, you, you kind of feel like the mouse is not going to move at all. It's like snug in your, in your hand. Um, other than that, like the shape is, the shapes are very similar. Um, but the M42 is just, you can feel it, that it's, it, the places where the Viper Mini could be a little bit more uh, curved or have a little bit more of a, grip bump to it the, the m42 kind of landed that perfectly um the shell that i'm using surprisingly i thought i was going to use the one with a big hump at the back that would make it more like an uh mm711 but i actually prefer the one with the tapered bump um the one with the bigger bump is interesting because you you can just feel it in your palm you can pick up the mouse like even just with your palm if you wanted to um 
and it, I mean, it's, it feels good, and it feels very similar to like uh, other ones, MF711, and I wouldn't say that it feels like uh, XM1. XM1 is definitely bigger, but this one, which is much more like a, much more like the Razer or like a, like a Zowie. Um, I guess it, it keeps your palm a little bit more more straight and you don't have to put it up as much and because of that uh i think i actually prefer it I w i'm interested to see if if extrify is going to come out with different shells and shapes that you can 3d print that'd be pretty cool but the fact that they give you the the two of them with this is is really cool it basically is essentially two mice in one it's if you love the ms 711 710 this is a better version than that than that mouse because that mouse has like terrible QC problems, a um, whole bunch of stuff. And then if you prefer like a Zowie mouse or a Viper or a G Pro Wireless, the, uh, this one feels a lot more like those those mice. Um, what else? What else can I say is like the the build quality is absolutely incredible. I know like a lot of reviewers have reiterated on that, but like you can't really understate like these clicks feel so good like it's it's so effort effortless to click um it feels snappy and consistent you can jitter click like no problem it feels great scroll wheel is incredible like everything on this mouse is is top notch um some people don't like the mouse feet i don't seem to mind them it feels okay for me right now uh like the control is there and the speed is there, so I'm not really sure why um, people are kind of knocking extra fire for the, for the mouse feed. It, it seems fine for me. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, if if you have a Viper Mini and you're thinking about getting this mouse, um, and you and you kind of find with your Viper Mini that it, it's good, but it doesn't really do everything that you want it to. Like you don't, sometimes you don't feel like you're landing your shots um as consistent or i don't know like the viper mini don't get me wrong it's it's I, I have really good aim with this mouse like i never feel like my aim is off ever but at the same time i don't feel as comfortable with like controlling it if that makes sense like you don't feel as comfortable with like with flicking or with uh like spray control um as, as I feel like I should. And all I can say is like, from what I've used of this mouse today in Valorant and Tarkov is it feels like it has addressed the issues that I've had with the, the Viper Mini. Um, so yeah, you know, there's no reviews online to compare these mice and I thought I'd take some time uh, to put something out there. Um, this mouse is, is really good. It's... Uh, it's probably my favorite mouse that I've used. I've tr I've tried a lot of mice over the last few years, including like the XM1, the, the G Pro Wireless. Um, I have a Bur Rockat Burst Pro here, which is like basically a clone of an XM1. There's really no reason for it over the XM1. Um, but yeah, it's great.